I began my research at Eric. Um, when I went here, I used the keywords of all of the things that were in my research question. And unfortunately, this um, using this method was not real good because I got zero results. So I realized I had to narrow my um, keywords. When I did this, I took out mathematics and a few other words and then got three results. From here, I realized I probably should um, narrow my keywords a little bit more. And when I did, I got 16 articles when I just used achievement and video games. And I was able to find many of them with full text, which was great. I continued my search at Michigan State University Libraries, where there is a myriad of um, e-resources that you can click on. I went to ProQuest first and ProQuest is great especially since I had just come from Eric and had trouble with my keywords because ProQuest gives you um, some suggestions for your keywords. Um, when I first put it in I just got one result and when I went to evaluate to see if this was good for my research I read first the abstract and found um, what I thought might be good for my research, so I continued to read and found more um, that I might be able to use. So I cited this and continued on with my research. I went to Juicer next, and here I had some more problems with showing full articles. This one seemed great to me because the title um, kind of encompasses my whole research project. But unfortunately, as you can see in the upper right hand corner, um, I did not have access to this article. I could purchase it for $38, but since I am a grad student and a teacher, I opted to keep on researching. I then went to Opposing Viewpoints, which is also in the Michigan State Libraries and this was a great find because it has so many different things that you can look in um, magazines, academic journals, and even multimedia. For the one that I went to, um, this is a viewpoint and this was by Wilson and as you can see my keywords are highlighted and I can see how many times within the article my keyword um, went. Also, I can cite this right from here. Unfortunately, it's all in MLA, but it's very easy to translate from MLA to APA for my project. Um, I continued researching and went to Google Scholar. Um, Google Scholar, when you put in your keywords, the articles come up, and it also gives you this option to find out who else cited it. And I figured that was a good way to look at other people who had read the article and had used it. So when I went to Cited By, I found many other articles that were on the same topic that had been cited by the previous article. Um, when I, another thing you can do is go to all 27 versions because when I first clicked on this. Um, it was not a full text, but I did find the full text when I went to all 27 versions. Another article that I didn't use was the Online Gaming for Students in grades 6, 7th, and 8th. Although the title sounded great when I got to the article, um, it wasn't very in-depth, it wasn't very trustworthy, and I just didn't think I would want to use it in my research. I continued to go um, researching and I went off the library to McCrell. McCrell's very easy, you just go to search and um, it pops up whenever you get an article. It tells you your keywords here and you can skip right to that page to see if that article meets your needs. This made researching and skimming the articles very easy. McCrell doesn't cite but it does um, give you these great options. When you click on one, you go to that page and then your keyword is highlighted. Again, making it very easy to research. 
When I research again, I will use noodle bib. This was something that um, in our discussion post, someone had posted that they had used. And unfortunately, I didn't get it until I was already done mostly researching. But when I went here, it's very easy to cite and use this site to use correct APA forms. Um, and that concludes my self-study. Thank you.